Meanwhile, Pakistan's judiciary and intelligence agencies remain at odds. In the latest, Islamabad High Court judges have urged the Supreme Judicial Council to organize a judicial convention. They are alleging interference of members of the executive, including operatives of intelligence agencies in judicial affairs. In a letter addressed to the SJC, six Islamabad High Court judges have sought guidance from the council over the alleged interference. The letter reads, and I am quoting here, we are writing to seek guidance from the Supreme Judicial Council with regard to the duty of a judge to report and respond to actions on part of members of the executive, including operatives of intelligence agencies that seek to interfere with discharge of official functions and qualify as intimidation, as well as the duty to report any such actions that come to their attention in relation to members of the courts that the High Court supervises. Now, this comes days after Pakistan's top court declared the removal of former IHC Justice Shokat Aziz Siddiqui, directing that he may now be considered as a retired judge. The verdict noted that the SJC proceeded against Justice Siddiqui on the assumption that the truth or falseness of the allegations leveled by the former judge was irrelevant. It also noted that the SJC opined that Justice Siddiqui had failed to substantiate independently or prove the allegations leveled by him. The IHC judges in their letter noted that the code of conduct for judges prescribed by SJC provides no guidance on how they must react to or report an incidents that are tantamount to intimidation and interfere with judicial independence. The judges further said that they believe it is imperative to inquire into and determine whether there exists a policy on the part of the executive branch of the state to meddle in judicial affairs.